Hi everybody, it's Diane the Klutz here today. I started a video, um, I was being very upbeat and quippy and funny, and I banged the camera. That's what you get for being funny, so I stopped it. We're making little monster inchies out of the Philatelic catalog. I had come across these in a previous video and said, I should do something with those. That's what we're doing. There's four different designs, so I'm just making four inchies. So this should be quick relatively easy if I don't you know bang the camera again I uh, did a border with marker around there and I was explaining that I did it just hand-drawn because the monsters are hand-drawn looking and then I was saying I think I went little dots or something in the background and that's when the lights went out so I don't know is it going to be one of those sessions kind of cute Okay, and then I guess I'll go ahead and glue here with the old reliable mason jar. Yeah, we're still in it. Um, it's down. And yeah, Linda, the wax paper ripped. I didn't replace it yet. Sorry. And then the actual stamps, and of course in the catalog picture, they have cute little accessories you can put on or around your stamp. So I cut a few of those out. So you get to play with your postage stamps now. Isn't that fun? It's interactive postage. <laughs> okay. Well, this guy, he's a little tall. We need something short. What about this hat? Okay, it does stand up a little bit above the inchy, which in my book is fine. It's just it could get beat up over time unless you glue it down to a card or something. Should make it a little askew there. Like he's a stylish monster. I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> Kind of cute. Okay. Next, we have a pink monster. Well, I don't know. Should I just do a border around each one? Although he has this starburst thing. What if we made his border kind of, you know, triangular? And I explained in the segment, I'm going to delete, this basket of markers here are the, the remains of a set. It's not complete, so I don't know if I'll find colors. So far, so good, though. Okay, let's outline that. And I think I also said something to the effect of if I don't like this border, it's an inch piece of poster board, big deal. You could always turn it over or cover it too. Okay. All right, let's see if we like that. It's okay. The pink is a tad off. That's actually kind of cute. Well, does he get an accessory or she? Is it a girl monster if it's pink? And that doesn't show up. All right, we need something dark then. That's kind of cute. Okay.
So, do you have other projects lined up, Diane, after this? No. <laughs> That's the end of my discussion. No, I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Cute. All right. One that looks a little like a noggy. Does anybody know what that is? Come on, you over, you over 50 people know what that is. or Yeah, I guess you'd have to be over 50. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have a red. What, what the? They were the little monster things. You, I don't know if you had to buy it or they gave it to you at furniture stores for uh, Naga Hide furniture when that came in. They kind of... It, not exactly, but we're kind of shaped like that. I never had one. And actually, those are kind of valuable nowadays, the old ones. I think you can still buy new ones. And no, I'm not affiliated with the Noggy people. Okay, good enough. Well, when this video goes up, it'll be February, so time's marching on, as always. Well, what about the beanie? <laughs> it matches his ensemble. What about the baseball cap? Oh, these are so little. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. If you're a clever person, you could make some sort of cute little monster valentines with these. That would be kind of fun. I have no plans for them. I'm just making them as inchies. Well, does he need something in the background? Okay, yeah, that I think adds a little. All right, this one that I wasn't sure if it was going to fit, but I think it does. I don't know about an accessory though, I think it's too tall for a hat. It's kind of cute. You know, that just needs cir circles. Well, maybe we should see where we want the circles. Okay, more out, obviously, but well, I guess they're dots, aren't they? Because they're filled in. All right, let's outline that. And I hope wherever you are and wherever you're doing, you have better lighting than I do. I'm practically shading myself doing this. Less than ideal conditions for an artist. Okay, let's do a simple border with the black marker.
And yes, this is very off Diane. <laughs> I don't do monster stuff. I don't do really cartoony, silly stuff. But every once in a while, why not do something different? I think that's kind of cool. All right, but what about an accessory? Or this one just doesn't get one. I don't know. Star. That would be okay. All right, let's glue that down. Wow, this is going to be a short video, and I don't even think I have to pause. How amazing. All right, well, let's see. About over here to kind of conceal that little quarter of a circle there that I don't like. It's a dot, Diane. Well, forget it because it won't come off. Yeah, I think that's cute. All right, people. <laughs> Short video, a quick craft. I think these are really cute. I have no idea what I'll do with these. If I'll just put them in my box of inches or, you know, turn them into cards or ATCs or something. I don't know. But I think they're cute. I hope they're not glaring for you. All right, go do something different and silly today and have a nice day.